up next is a lightweight bout between Don Cowboy Cerrone and former top contender Nate Diaz. Ultimate Fighter winner, Nate Diaz. He won the lightweight Ultimate Fighter crown back at season five. His head coach was former champion, Jens Culver. One of the most entertaining fighters to ever battle in the UFC. The Ultimate Fighter winner, Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz is a very accomplished submission artist, and he earned his way into the UFC by finishing all four of his fights in the Ultimate Fighter Season 5. Since then, he's put together some impressive victories and really improved his boxing. He is a true cowboy to go along with his body. Donald Cerrone, a dangerous Muay Thai specialist who loves to switch his stance to southpaw and deliver the kick to the ribcage of his opponent. In all action, aggressive and entertaining fighter, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Donald Cerrone is a well-rounded fighter with great submissions and great Muay Thai. He's extremely difficult to finish, a lot of heart, great chin, and he fights very well in the later rounds. Straight from the black dog, dog Donald Cerrone set to go to bat with Nate Diaz. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight collision. Diaz is 30, Cerrone is 32. Diaz will have a three inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA. He is an ultimate fighter season winner. Seven losses and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. Here we go, first round, you ready? You ready? Let's and go, here on. we go. Tonight's fight is scheduled for three. Black trucks for Diaz. White trucks for Cerrone. One thing to look out for in this fight is Dal Cerrone's knees. He is nasty with that strike. Good job landing the series of strikes here. He slips the punch. The huge head kick is blocked. <laughs> Diaz with the left. Powerful kick. Hard jab. There's a nice combination. Oh, and another one. That hurt him. Inside leg Both kick. men landing in that exchange. Delivered that right to the midsection of his opponent. Cerrone with the switch kick to the body. And he misses. Oh, he got caught there. Shoots the head kick, but misses. And back up. Nice block in the counter by Cerrone. 
Joe, you can hear Greg Jackson in Cerrone's corner encouraging him to continue to keep his hands up. And back up to his feet. Oh, good left hand. Just over three now. Nate gets hit with that body kick. Good kicks, Joe. Very nice leg kick by Cerrone. Man, he really turned on that inside leg kick. Nice hands. Cerrone with the double. Back up. Kick lands. He was looking for the head kick, but it was blocked. Trying to grab the leg, and he does. Nick gets the single leg. Found a hole for that. Transitions side to side control. Nate gets into the north-south position. And again, he's back into side control. In full guard here. He's back in the full guard now. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Cerrone with a good connection. In the full guard here. Man, he's got the reversal. Now he's in full guard. Into half guard again. Right back in full guard. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He scores a hard with a shot huge with the left. In the north-south again. Powerful left hand. Full mount. Under a minute remains in round one. He's in half guard here. Diaz has got the full mount again. Oh. Trying to mount. That connected. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. Meek's got it back in half guard. He's moved back to north south. 20 seconds. Great movement on the ground. Staying busy on the ground. He moves to full guard here. Diaz is in half guard again. And the mount again. He got an arm, Mike. Looking for the finish. He got an arm. Can he get it? And the round comes to an end. And he'll live to fight another five minutes. Here we see a perfectly timed kick. Connects flush. Here we see a beautifully timed kick. Connects flush. Beautiful submission attempt here, but right Go. at the end, it's he slips time. out. Find out what you're made of here. Your eyes looking pretty bad, man. It's looking bad. You've got to pull this out. You can't let them stop this fight, okay? Listen to me. Stay the lovely Britney go, getting a set ready. for round number two. Let's go, come on. Here is round two. Nate Diaz is clearly going for it, but he was still unable to finish his submission attempt in that last round. Yeah, unable to finish that submission attempt, but definitely went for it. Good right-left combo there. Those feints are really bothering his opponent. Oh, there he connected. Nate with a strong combination. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here. Nice knee to the body. Inside leg kick by they Nate. They are exchanging here, Mike. Let's go! Nice front kick to the body. Nasty knee to the body. Combination Big shots.
Solid shot to the body. I like that, Mike. I like how he's mixing it up. Oh, that caught him. Trying to take the back here. He's got full guard here. Oh, beautiful sweep. Joe, these fighters need to engage, or the ref's gonna stand them up. Sometimes you see this, sometimes you see two guys who are very even in the middle, and when really it goes to the ground, they stifle each other. Back to his feet. Good leg kick by Cerrone. He scores with a nasty inside leg kick. Look at this. And he parries it. Joe, that was a brutal knee to the body. Straight punch. Oh, that's a heavy body kick. Oh, he's landed some good shots here. And a knee! Oh, that's a big kick. Body kick, look at that. Hard straight punch. on his outer thigh is really starting to swell up bad. Good work on the body by Cerrone. And they separate. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Nice left hook to the body. Very comfortable mixing things up. Looks for that front kick. Missed it. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the body. Donaldson, huge kick to the midsection. He is hurt. He got nailed in the body. He is in big trouble here. Nice takedown. Man, he gave up his back. He's in half guard. Now to full guard. Looking for his back. Moves to half guard. Full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. And they're up. Oh, and he ate a front kick. Strong knee to the body by Cerrone. He's fainting with the punch. Nice counter right. He finishes the takedown late in the round. Nate goes into side control. Full mount. Joe, he's showcasing some great movement on the ground. Nate gets caught by the right. Full guard now. Round two in the books. And there's a nice knee to the body. And here's another knee to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed shot to the body. Lots of action in that round. That was a great round. You won the round. Okay? Get your air back in the rounds. Now listen to me. You won the round, so it comes down to this last round. Okay? The beautiful Lariani. Here you go, let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's Five go. minutes on the clock. Joe, that was a good round. Donald's strikes were damaging, especially his knees. Excellent technique in delivering those knees. Really put a lot of power behind him. 
Man, he has landed so much damage that both of his eyes have started to swell now. That huge head kick was blocked. Good block, straight count. Great exchanges. Good defense as he catches the kick. Front kick to the body by me. Nice kicks. Cerrone counters with the left. Joe, he's keeping very busy. Look at the numbers. Total strikes on He's trying to pass here, Mike. Nice movement on the ground. He Vicious scores with a hand. huge left. Oh, big shot from the top. He's taking his back now. Nice sweep. Hits the reversal and full mount. And he's going to try to take the back. Cerrone with a punch that connects. Nice sweep. He's got the back. This is where he's outstanding. Three minutes left in the fight. Nice sweep. He's got a He's looking to pass here, Joe. Postured up. Back up. Nice knee to the body there by Cowboy. Neat with a solid leg kick. He did a nice job blocking the head kick. Good kicks by me. He's doing a great job of being unpredictable and mixing things up here. Joe, that's a heavy inside leg kick. He's landing some excellent kicks here. He tries for the single but doesn't get it. The huge head kick is blocked. Joe, nice knee by Cerrone. He changes stances and switches southpaw. Joins the feints that are the key to this striking. Nice roundhouse kick to the body. He blocks the punch, and he lets that leg go. You can hear that one. He's fainting with that kick. Good straight punch. Oh, my goodness! Wow! He's hurt. Beautiful body shot there, too. Head kick. That's a big hook. side control again and they wow, go the distance a in a spectacular matchup in a fight like this i would hate to be a judge 
because it's going to be very difficult to determine a winner. Incredibly close fight. I would not want to be the guy who has to pick a winner, and I don't even know how they're going to pick a winner. Round two, we see more of the same beautiful kicking technique on display. Round three, this thunderous head kick finds its way through the guard. The judges have rendered their decision. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we'll go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score in this contest, 928. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Nate Diaz! Nate Diaz earns the win by unanimous decision. between T.J. Dillashaw and the former all-time WEC champion, Uriah Faber. He is the California kid, Uriah Faber, one of the most beloved and popular mixed martial artists of all time. The former WEC featherweight champion defended his title a record five times. He has always competed at the highest level inside the octagon. Uriah Faber has the full package. Outstanding wrestling, ridiculous cardio, devastating ground and pound, and some of the best submissions in the lightweight classes. He is one of the most loved fighters in the sport today. Uriah Faber enters the octagon, and he's ready to fight. T.J. Dillashaw, his teammate, said for a long time, T.J. Dillashaw can be the best mixed martial arts fighter in the world, and recently has been nothing short of dangerous. This guy has toughness that you cannot teach. He has an incredible ability to absorb punishment and the mental toughness to come back from devastating situations. T.J. Dillashaw set to play. The California kid, Uriah Fade. Our tail of the tape. For this bantamweight fight, Dillashaw is 30, Faber is 36. The rest is virtually identical. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, a professional right now. 33 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Body out of Sacramento, California. The California Kid, Uriah Faber. And now he is his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, a professional wrestler. 12 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, presenting the former UFC bantamweight champion, T.J. Dillashaw! And when the action begins, our both in charge, Eve Levine. Our referee for this fight is Eve Levine. And here we go. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Faber. Black trunks for Dillashaw. Uriah, not just a great champion, great fighter, but a selfless leader. No one other than maybe the family, the Dillashaw family, more proud and excited when TJ won the belt. A very close... Oh, he completes the suplex. He's looking to pass here, Joe. Solid left by Faber. He's 
now working from side control again. He's established mounted crucifix. Looks like he's trying to get an Americana here. And he got his arm loose. Side control. Control. And they're up. Nice Yo, that's an outstanding knee. flying knee. He tags him with the lead left. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. <laughs> Dillashaw with the jab. Looking for a takedown. Dillashaw gets the double leg. Ah, nice sweep, very good move. He's got the full mount, Joe. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Nice elbow to the head by Faber. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. He's back up. Joe, once again, the crowd reminding us that the count... Oh! oh! Boy! from the mounted crucifix. And right back to side control. He's got one leg in, in between him, so he's in half guard here. Faber with good connection from the bottom. Faber is cut, Mike. Nice ground and pound by Dillashaw. Just two minutes remain in the round. Yeah, let's go. Got a here. And the full mount, not good. He hip escapes, he's out of the full mount. Beautifully executed sweep. Hammer fist gets through. Half guard now. Now he's moved back in a full guard. Not much going on. Yeah, this is a stalemate here. They seem to be canceling each other out. He's looking for a submission. He's out of the choke. Transition to the top. Big left hand. Man, he's doing some great damage from inside his opponent's guard. See if he looks for a knee. Trying to close the distance. He pummels in. Now he's got double underhooks. Got the over under here. They separate. Dillashaw gets hit with the kick. He's doing some damage with those kicks. Look at this. Faber with the takedown. Nice single leg. Ah, that's an outstanding transition. Strong knee to the body by Faber. Our first round is in the books. Take a seat. Deep breath. Relax. Take a drink of water. And listen, I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better with your hand. Here we see a beautiful takedown. And here's another perfectly executed takedown. And here is another very nice takedown. Brittany gets us set for round number two. Ready? Ready? All right, 
at round two. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Nice leg kick. Vicious shot to the body. Good combinations. Full guard here. And there's a reversal. Faber's looking for a choke. He's free from the rear naked choke. Nice sweep. He's a full guard. Still a shot. Gets caught with that left. And he slips to half guard. And back to full guard. Good right hand there. Elbowing him in the face. It appears that cut is getting worse. Back to half guard now. Dillashaw with a good punch. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. And he establishes full mount. They're back up. Oh, he got rocked. This could be it. He oh, got he got tagged. Look at this. Take down. He's got full guard here. He's working from his back now. Under three minutes. Posture's up. Dillashaw with the hammer fist. Looking to do some damage from the bottom. Keep the pressure going on that ground game. Let's go. Oh, oh, big right hand clipped him. He transitions back to half guard. setting it up and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Time now for our fight replay. And we see here, as soon as this arm bar gets locked in, there is no escape. Perfect technique, tremendous pressure. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 35 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by tap out, the California King, Uriah Faber! Uriah Faber, winner by submission.
It's a light heavyweight showcase between Anthony Johnson and Ultimate Fighter winner, Sugar Rashad Evans. been the smallest competitor during that season. But Sugar Rashad overcame the odds and beat down Big Brad Ives to earn that honor of being the ultimate fighter. And he also added a UFC light heavyweight belt to his trophy case back in 2008. Rashad Evans is the former UFC light heavyweight champion and remains as one of the elite in the sport at 205. He combines outstanding wrestling with amazing athleticism and speed to make him one of the most dangerous fighters in the light heavyweight division. Born in Dublin, Georgia, former high school running back and of course high school wrestler, Anthony Rumble Johnson once said, Real warriors don't talk. They just go out and get the job done. And that is what Rumble is all about, defeating his opponent and moving on to the next challenge. This fighter has an iron jaw. I have seen him take shots on the chin and not be affected, shots that would knock a lesser man completely unconscious. Anthony Johnson sets a play. Sugar shot Evan. Tail of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Johnson is 32. Evans is 36. Johnson is three inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. It's his first fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler. Only a professional record of 24 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight world champion, Sugar Rashad Evans. And now we're introducing his opponent. Mixed martial arts holding a professional record of 21 wins, five losses. He's got 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting on a bump of a top for Lana, Anthony Rumble Johnson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Our referee for this fight is Herb Dean. Mike Goldberg, Ready. my partner is always Ready. Joe Rogan, and we are set to get things started. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Evans, black trunks for Johnson. Joe, many people believe that Rashad Evans was the classic overachiever because he is not a heavyweight, but yet he won the ultimate fighter in the UFC's heavyweight division. Yes, he did, and then really quickly afterwards dropped down to light heavyweight where I think he's going to have the most success. He misses with the left hook. Oh, huge kick to the midsection. That's wow. a big uppercut he just landed. Big straight punch. Solid chance. Big shots. Oh, he's landing at will. Big 
right hand punch for the KO. Joe, here's the finish on our fight replay. And as we can see here in the replay, it was the hook that ended this fight. Let's look at it from a different angle. And let's see that again. Boom! And then he's out. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Rumble Johnson. Anthony Johnson, winner by knockout. It's a lightweight bout between Javier Dos Anjos and one of the greatest featherweights of all time, Jose Aldo. The Brazilian, Jose Aldo. He grew up on the tough streets in Manaus, Brazil. Started his martial arts training in Capoeira. Then trained lots of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He moved to Rio de Janeiro at age 17 and literally slept on the mats and has evolved into one of the greatest fighters in UFC history. As he steps towards his cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Javier Dos Anjos set to enter the octagon to defend his title. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Rafael Dos Anjos enters the octagon, set for this lightweight collision. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight, Dos Anjos is two years his elder. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. This is the moment U.S. fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed U.S.C. Lightweight Championship of the World. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter with a professional record of 25 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Jose! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world. 
Rafael Dos Anjos. You ready? You ready? Jose Aldo. Here we go! Tonight's championship fight is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. White trunks for Aldo. Black trunks for the champion. Jose Aldo is particularly devastating with his knee strikes. His timing and his accuracy are outstanding. They could play a huge factor in this fight. Jose Aldo putting his power on this play. Anderson Silva once said, if Jose Aldo was 185, I would retire. They go to the clinch here early. He jumps to the guillotine. Oh, look at that, slips right out of it. In the half guard. And in guard. Wow! Hard straight punch! Head kick! Oh, oh! Combination! Big punch! He is going after it here! Oh, that corner! Swinging early, both men. Excellent takedown defense by Aldo. You're right, partner. That takedown defense has been a huge factor tonight. Aldo's got him in the plum clinch again. That's a damaging knee to the body. He wow. lands a huge knee. Big shot! Under three now. And he parries that shot. Nicely timed counter shot. Precise jab by Dos Anjos. He switches to southpaw here. Dos Anjos with the kick to the midsection. They are exchanging here, Mike. Wow, this crowd loves Jose Aldo. What great support. Nice, oh, nice. kick. Excellent job there, stuffing that, and that's big. Oh, very nicely done. He was looking for the head kick, but it was blocked. Aldo gets hit with that kick to the midsection. More great kicks from him here. Nicely done. Softening his opponent up, trying to set something up here. Powerful leg kick. Shot to the body. Quick inside leg kick by Dos Anjos. Timing his strikes nicely. Jose Aldo. What an exciting striker, Joe. He will go down. Is one of the greatest fighters in mixed martial arts history. Dos Anjos with the left to the body. He can't connect with the kick. Aldo's landing some very good counter strikes here. Yep, absolutely, Joe. He avoids. It looks like Aldo's trying to counter. Look out for those counter strikes. Anjos with an elbow to the head. And he's gonna move to pass into half guard. Side control. And he connects. He's got him in a crucifix. 
Huge oh, elbow. man, that is rough. He transitions into north-south. Great movement on the ground. He does have full guard here, which is still dangerous. Those Anjos with a good left. Round hey. one complete. Here's a perfect kick to the body. Excellent strike here, lands on target. There's a powerful kick to the body. What a great round. This fight is really shaping up. And the lovely Brittany gets us started for round number two. Lightweight title fight. So far, this fight is going according to game plan, at least for the champion. He is dictating where the fight takes place. He has dominated the action. His striking looks outstanding. He's clearly winning this fight. Man, that right eye is really looking swole. Those Anjos with a kick to the body. Nice hook. Aldo with power. Andre Pedineros, his longtime coach, said a few years ago that he nearly broke my arm through the tie pads. And again, he connects on the counter. Joe, take a look at the striking accuracy for Rafael Dos Anjos, landing 50% of his significant strikes. Back nice. and forth. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. He gets the over-under. And he pulls away. And he eats a kick. Nice knee. Very nicely done. Oh, that's a vicious kick. Vicious knee to the body. Oh, he caught him with the knee. Big knee. And he's in big trouble here. Nice combination. Big shots. Change of stance. That bruise on his torso is getting much worse. That straight right just missed. Excellent jab by Dos Anjos. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the body. Rafael Dos Anjos has got to be very pleased with his performance here tonight, Jim. He certainly has done a really good job of landing big shots in this fight, and that's what so far is getting him ahead on the scorecards. Good takedown defense, very nicely done. And they're loose. Look at this. Yeah, he's digging into that leg. Those Andros with some solid kicks. Superman punch. Nice body shot. 
He switched stances back to southpaw here. 360 turning side kick. And that's another kick that you don't see coming. The Kung Lee Express, I like to call it. There it is. Oh, look at that. Beautiful body shot there, too. Oh, that's a heavy body kick. Mad Joe, that was a hard leg kick. Ogle with a nice punch. Continuing to strike well. Good defense with the parry. He avoids the clinch. Solid leg kick by Aldo. Oh, good left hand. Aldo gets caught by the inside leg kick. Look at that. Dos Anjos with a powerful body kick. Nice job slipping the punch. Oh, 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 big combination. Hard straight punch. Oh. We have completed two rounds. Rafael Dos Anjos is thankful to still be in this fight after that round. He got cracked with some big shots before the bell. Here's a powerful punch that devastates. And let's see if we could get a better look at that from this angle. Esse acabou com a raça dele hoje. Tá bonito de ver. Ele já entregou os pontos. Tá só esperando você te. The beautiful Ariani. this championship fight. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Aldo with a one-two that scores. Oh, nice jab. Joe, he's really on point with his strikes tonight. And he connects with the left. Knee to the body by the champ. Those Anjos' eyes are both starting to swell. There's a reversal. Try to pass there, but he gets stopped. Great transition to top position. But he's going to transition to the back. Oh, that's an outstanding transition. See what he can do from here. Man, he's got the reversal. Trying to take the back here. I'm going to stand you guys up. Come on. He's got both hooks in. Very nice sweep winds up in his opponent's guard. Posturing up. Just over three now. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. Nice sweep. Now he's in the guard. Moves to half guard. And there's a takedown attempt. Nice jab. He lands a clean combination. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. And a knee. Oh, Whoa. what a combination. He hurt him. Oh. He got his hips well enough to get back to half guard. Oh, 
there's a big left, left hand. hand. Struggling for a position in the clinch. Good exchange back and forth here. Just misses with the left. Under a minute. Looking to shoot. Good left hand count. Changing things up with the stance. Going south, Paul Joe. Aldo with a nice switch kick. He tries to take him down with the single, but can't get it. Huge hard hook. hook. Turning into an all-out slugfest. He hurt him with that hook. Look at this. Oh, that one hurt him. Twenty seconds. That's a big hook. Huge knee to the head. Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Great position out in here. Well, three in the books, and we are headed to the championship round. The champion was rocked in that round. He was in pure survival mode. But then, on display once again, the heart and determination that won him the belt in the first place. And this battle will continue. Let's get a better look at it from a different angle. And let's take a closer look at that from a different angle. Ariane helping us get set for round number four. Are you ready? I'm ready. We are in the championship round. The start of round number four. Joey made our way to the fourth round in this championship fight. What do you look for now? The championship rounds show who put more time in, who put more focus, more dedication, more energy, more intensity in training camp, and who has executed their game plan better in the first 15 minutes of the fight. And he lands with the left. Oldo with the combination. Ah, nice feint. Knee to the body. Vicious elbow. Oh, very nice. Back and forth battle. And he connects with the knee. Punch. 
huge uppercut. Oh, powerful strike. Nice jab. Combination. Hard left hand. He gets the Muay Thai clinch. Those Anjos with a big leg kick. Man, the damage to his thigh is so excessive. I don't know how much longer he can stay in this fight. Tries to set up the takedown. And there's the takedown. Got it. Good connection by Aldo. He went right back to that position. Nice hammer fist. Just over two on the clock. Those Anjos is trying for a submission here. He's looking for the triangle choke here. What he wants to do, he switches to the arm bar, rolls him over on his back. Any second now, he might have to tap that. Oh, that's it. And that's it is it. all over. A beautiful job in setting up this arm bar. Excellent technique. Time now for our fight replay. And we see here, as soon as this arm bar gets locked in, there is no escape. Perfect technique, tremendous pressure. And here we see it again from another angle. Isolates the arm, locks it in, and forces the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. And still! Sanchez remains the UFC lightweight champion. Coming up next, it's a welterweight title fight between ruthless Robbie Lawler and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt Nick Diaz. A true mixed martial arts veteran and one of the most durable fighters in UFC history, Nick Diaz, the Caesar Gracie Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, shuns the spotlight and craves only combat. The former Strike Force welterweight champion is back to showcase his skills tonight. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. Robbie Lawler, set to enter the octagon to defend his title. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Set to take on Nick Diaz. Our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Diaz is 32. Lawler is 33. Diaz is one inch taller. He will have a two inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of 
the evening. And when the action begins, the referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lovey. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch. Robbie Law. Nick Diaz. And here we go. The welterweight belt is on the line. Remember, title fight, five five-minute rounds. Black trunks for the end. White trunks for the champion. Robbie is such a much more popular striker in this most recent run in the UFC. He's just a completely different fight. It's amazing, isn't it? It's incredible. That after all these years, he's still learning his run. Joe, his opponent needs to avoid those uppercuts. Those are big punches. Nice hands, really connecting with the punches. Shoots in for the takedown. Nice movement on the ground. Half guard. Now he moves to full guard. Nick's in half guard again. Right into guard again, though. Ah, they love the ruthless one. Robbie Lawler. And they know why. Because he's always looking for the knockdown. Solid jab by Diaz. They're going after it quick here. He's doing a really good job of timing these shots. And he completes the single. Diaz has got it back in half guard now. Hammer fist. That's outstanding grounding. Play. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Movement on the ground here, constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh, he gets reversed. He's got the back, looking for the rear naked choke. He's free from the rear naked choke. Very nice sweep, winds up in his guard. Joe, what a great sweep. Good timing. Now he's in half. And he's got half guard. And back to full guard. Good left hand by Nick. He's got full guard here. He's looking to pass here, Joe. That's a solid punch by Lawler.
big punch from the bottom. Joe, he's showcasing some great movement on the ground. He's now working for full guard. Hammer fist. He's putting his hands down on the thighs. He's looking to pass. Really good movement on the ground. with the punch from the clinch. Lands a trip and gets him on the ground. He lands a huge elbow to the head. And he's got it in guard. Great movement on the ground. Let's go. We have to get back now. All right, you're good here, bro. Stay safe. Be smart. Half guard. Really good movement on the ground. He's got some time to work here. 45 seconds. Big oh, right hand. Huge right hand. Right to half guard. Half guard. 20 seconds. Diaz is unable to pass. Back to half guard now. Final seconds of round one. Passes into half guard. The horn sounds for the end of round number one. Your pace is way too crazy. Okay. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Incredible highlights in that round. The beautiful Brittany. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, round two. Oh, Joe, just like we saw in the last round, the champion so far is the better fighter. He is dictating where this fight takes place. And once again, he looks sensational. And he's really mixing things up nicely, isn't he? He's being unpredictable, that's for sure. And that is important. Good elbow. Very nice timing with these shots here. There's that big jam. Trying to grab the leg, and he does. Beautiful counter to the takedown here, and an excellent throw. And he connects. Half guard. Man, that right eye has really started to swell shut. Vicious ground and pound. Lawler's back in half guard. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's going for his arm here. He's isolated the arm. He's pinning down the wrist. Now he wants to connect his other hand to his forearm for leverage. He's got it. Now he wants to lift that elbow up while pushing that hand Great down. Great submission to Lost defense. it totally. Completely lost the position. Now he's secured side control. He's looking to take the back. He's working from half guard now. He transitions to full mount. Lawler gets caught by that right. Nick Diaz with a nasty leg kick. Big shot with the straight. Man, outstanding takedown defense tonight. Exactly. Solid left hand from Nick Diaz. Over the years, he has displayed his great boxing skills. He's so good at picking opponents apart. And you saw the big left hand right there. And he continues to mix up his strikes. Joe, those body strikes are really starting to do some damage. Knee to the body by the champ. Joe, that's another solid kick. 
Good defense with the parry. And now they clinch. Diaz has got double underhooks. He's in a better position here with the tie clinch. Good punch landed from the clinch. He's got over and under here. And he gets the throw. Side control. Joey's really smothering his opponent with the crucifix. And right back to side control. Two minutes. You're in half guard, you're all good there. Nice right hand. Oh. Big left hand by Hard Harlow. left hand by Robbie. Oh. Robbie Lawler putting his power on display. Big punch. Nasty combinations here. Lawler with a good jab. Guard. Look at the bruising on his torso. Moves to half guard. Big shot from the bottom. Diaz got taken by that right. Now to full guard. Trying to pass here. 30 seconds. Nick with the right to connect. He has a huge hand. left. Solid right hand. He moves to stacking him now. in the books. Everything is going good. She cannot All right, let's check out some of the action from that round. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's take a look at that from a different camera. And here it is from another angle. The beautiful Ariani. The third round of this championship fight is underway. Joe, that fight was nearly over in the last round. Look at that! Oh, oh. Punches and bunches. He wants the finish. Vicious shot to the body. And he turned it around into full guard. Wow, look at that. How good is that? Uh-oh. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Oh, oh, big right, right hand. That right hand. Oh. His opponent's got his back here. Half guard right now. Full guard now. The swelling on his eyes is starting to get really bad. Lawler swings with the left. Solid jab. Hurt him with that uppercut. How good is this? Hard straight punch. Man, he just missed. He's worse than a huge left. Ajo, another strong jab. Wow! Unbelievable! Oh, oh big right hand flipped him. He's stacking them. Oh! He's 
got the full mount, Joe. Big Huge elbow. Huge elbow to the head. The ruthless one, Robbie Lawler with a big punch. He has a big, big left hand. Oh, this is nasty. There's Huge a big left shot. hand. Total domination. It is all over. It is all over. Got the full mount, secured the position, and dropped bombs. Once again, here's our fight replay. And let's look at the replay and see the end of this fight. This is the huge ground and pound strike that lands for the KO. Let's look at that from a different angle. Great angle here. Bam! And good night. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 54 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Ruthless Robbie Lawler. Robbie Lawler remains the UFC welterweight champion. And once again, a great night of fights. For my partner, Joe Rogan, this is Mike Goldberg saying so long until next time. We see you right back here.